Hey everybody, daily recap, January, sorry, January, June 9th, guys, 2022. Let's take a look at what we did today. And, uh, you know, it was a little bit choppy to start the day. We were bullish right out the gate. I was looking for a bounce in the market. We did get it. Um, market was pulling back this morning and we were hammering things on the long side, which ended up being a really good, um, uh, well, paid really nicely. So some of the things that we did take, we did take Tesla uh, long out the gate. We got about 22 points on that to the upside. We took five in the pre-market actually. Got about five, six points on that one. We took some SIG along at 11.14, got a nice pop towards the 11.60 area on that. Decent little trade there. We had some square long at 82.20, ended up getting out on this little pop. I hated how weak square was. We got out for a point and we ended up grabbing 80 puts and 75 puts. Um, the 80 puts we got like 20 cents on, the 75 puts are the ones I wanted to ride down. We got about 211% on those. So that was a nice little trade there. Uh, DQ, we took long as well at uh, 61.20 this morning. Got a nice little pop for about a buck 50 on that. AI, 19.70 uh, uh, short. This one ended up getting us like 20 cents, nothing really major. Um, ended up just getting kind of stopped out of that one. GME, we tried to take this one on the short side. Ended up getting stopped on that little bounce there. Should have went back into it, but it uh, didn't work out for us on that, unfortunately. Uh, we did go long snow uh, as well this morning on this dip. Ended up being a really good trade to the upside. Obviously, it went all the way towards 139s. Uh, we took it long at 132.40. So if you do the math there, seven points-ish. What else did we do? We did some uh, Tesla short at the end of the day for about six points. We were short BNTX at 155.83. Rolled that down the entire day. We ended up rolling to 155, uh, 145 puts exiting that. We scalped some shop to the upside this morning. I uh, got about three points on that, four points actually. And then, um, you know, obviously we scalped a little bit. Well, obviously, but we did scalp a little bit when it did break the uh, the range low from last day on the downside for about three points. DDOG, we're in long at uh, 109.63 this morning. We got it for about a point to the upside on that. We took LITM long, got about 10 cents on that. Nothing really crazy there. I was looking for the breakout, didn't quite get it. Uh, we tried some AERC long, got stopped out of that one. A GR and uh, Q long, we got about four cents on that one to the upside. MA uh, 355 short. This one we got stopped out this morning and then it started to roll over, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, our stop was at 358. It popped right to like literally 358, what, like 20. It took us out, unfortunately, then decided to go. That's trading though, guys. That's, it is what it is in that regard. Uh, we did some Ollie long. This one did not work. We got stopped out of that one. Uh, unfortunately, didn't work out. Like I said, Tesla shop shorts at the end of the day. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it on the equity side. So pretty pretty decent um, on the equity side today. On the option side, we did some calls this morning on a bunch of different things, which worked out nicely. So on that dip, we were buying a whole bunch of things. The most notable was, well, right out the gate, we took Microsoft 270 calls. I saw Microsoft's got relative strength. Let's grab it long. Grabbed it long, 270s went in the money for about 184%. Uh, we did some Baba 120 calls. We got about 40% on those on the little pop. Nothing really major there. Meta, this was a good one. We had 200 calls, 205s. Um, on the 200 calls, we got about 196%. On the uh, 205s, 151%, so not bad there. Oh, sorry, Microsoft was 154%. I'm just looking at the, at the, uh, the numbers here. Square, uh, 75 puts, we talked about those. 211%, we were in Baba 110 puts for about 110%. At the end of the day, we also did take, uh, well, in the, in the middle of the day, we took 405 puts as a hedge. Those ended up going over 100%. We sold half, we sold against them 401s. Those ended up almost maxing out at the end of the day. 1,700% trade on the, on the um, spread there. So that was a really good one as well. We did NVIDIA for about 60%, uh, Walmart for 30%, Airbnb got about 30% on that, uh, Coin, about 70% on that, 70 calls this morning. Uh, mRNA, we took the 150 calls that didn't end up working. It ended up failing right up, right away. Tried to play the little extension, bounce, didn't bounce. So how to, how to exit that one. Uh, we did Fucho on the long side for about 87%. That was pretty nice. Um, AMD 105 calls that failed, didn't work out for us. HD, uh, the three tens for 100% and change. That was a nice little trade. Tesla 800 calls for about 30%. Yeah, about 30% looks like. Goldman Sachs, 300 puts. Ended up just having to exit those at the end of the day. Those actually didn't work out that bad. We got, we got the, uh, we, took, we took these right out the gate when I was, was seeing relative weakness in the uh, financials. They ended up going about 160% on the day. So, you know, can't complain too much. 
We tried some spy lotto calls in the middle of the day on a bounce. Those ended up failing. Um, so those didn't work. BNTX, 49%. AMD, uh, we swung a little bit of lottos on the event. And five, oh, five, 135 call roll for 127%. Uh, no, sorry, 187%, my mistake. RCL, 50 puts for about 40%. Talked about the BNTX, NVAX for about 80% on the downside, the 50 or the 40 puts. We tried Costco 495s, that was a fail. Uh, Veru 13 puts, ended up getting out of that one flat. We tried Baba get off the lows, uh, and we got about like 16% on that, it was okay. Uh, we tried a snow roll at 140, no risk on it because it was a roll that ended up failing. Tesla roll 790, that ended up failing. Starbucks, 80 calls for 63%, not bad. And that's it, guys. So, you know, okay. Oh, JD, that was another one that we took. Uh, 65 or 65 um, calls didn't end up working. And then the JD 60 puts ended up paying nicely at the end of the day there on that little poll. Uh, BLNK, 18 calls, 100%. And I'm just going to scroll up to see if there's anything else. Airbnb, we talked about that. Oh, CRM. That was about 40% on that one. Oh, sorry, uh, about 20% on that one. And that's literally it. So a lot of different trades today. Not everything worked. Um, not bad on the option side. We actually kind of nailed the, the puts. We were kind of hammering them all day once the market started to break EMA support. Uh, now tomorrow, guys, we got CPI data. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a big, big day. Obviously, um, that's going to give us short-term direction on the market. We could reclaim this pivot and then push back up to the 50 MA, which would mean we're still range bound. If we get bad CPI data, um, and obviously then we're gonna sell off, I think 396, possibly to 387. Either way, we're gonna have a ton of volatility. So I think it's gonna be a fantastic Lotto Friday type of trading day. Um, anyways, if you guys wanna join us, go to SpartanTrading.com, you can sign up, you get access to all the alerts, the streams, entries, exits, stops, uh, me talking to you nonstop all day, seeing my screen, as well as I'm answering questions live. So if you're in something that Maybe um, we're not in, or you know, you have a question on something. We'll give you our opinion on it. Access to all the mods, all that good stuff. If you guys, uh, you know, want to just check out the community, you can go to the Discord link, which is in the description of the bio. Click on it. You'll come in. There's a bunch of free resources as well to check out. Anywho, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.